morning everyone, welcome to a new Florida day. We're starting off early here, it's currently quarter to seven. Just getting everything all packed up, still dark outside. And uh, getting ourselves ready to shoot off to uh, Universal. So just getting the last few things all together, start loading up the car. And then Morofsky, it's getting harder and harder to get up early in the morning. It really is, oh, I just keep going back to sleep. But it'll be worth it when we're in Universal. I always say that it is worth it once you're up, but I could easily go back to bed. Getting harder and harder, isn't it? Struggling. Yeah. I was alright this morning, I have to sleep. Mm. Laura's alright. I was alright for some reason, I was alright getting up this morning. Oh. Like spinning chicken. Look at you. Hello. <laughs> well, so we're nearly here now. Nice and early. Um, it is now 20 past 7. So by the time we get in there, it'll be around 20 to 8, quarter to 8. We've got the annual pass all the lanes, so we get in a bit faster anyway, so that's a shorter line. So we'll do, we're doing all right. We'll try and do Hagrid's Velocicoaster, then maybe Velocicoaster again, then go for our coffee. Yeah, see how we get on, and then we've got a live stream about 11 o'clock this morning, so. Yeah, so we'll do a live stream at 11 as well, and then see what happens for the rest of the day. We've got no plans as, as yet, have we? Not particularly, no. We've got to check into the new villa at some point and then we might see. Yeah. Gonna go with the flow this afternoon. Either do another park or. Yeah, I'm gonna take it easy this afternoon. I'll do Jean in there. Gonna take it easy this afternoon, see what happens. Like, it's nice because we've got so much choice. We can just rest, go to a Disney park, go to Universal Park, go shopping, take a walk down our drive, do a nature drive. There's so much we can do. Yeah, so we'll see how we feel after. Uh couple of hours in here see how yeah. we get on see where our new villa is and stuff like that yeah and then i think international drive tonight i think oh yeah we'll have something nice to eat we'll go and have a nice drink in one of the bars or something yeah you want to go to the honky tonk bar yeah don't you? always want to go to honky tonk bar yeah. proper american southern bar your yeah. book sounds like it's back you sound a bit bunged up there yeah i sound really awful this morning yeah. i know it's not going it keeps coming back so i'm not doing very well this morning but I'll power on through. I am a woman, that's what we do best. So I'll power on through. A cup of coffee will help as well. I think because I've not had anything to eat or drink yet to make me feel worse. So um, yeah, we'll head on in now. And I think I'm gonna put the RIP lanyard on. Oh, I think I'm gonna let everyone know that I've done an RIP tour this time. So yeah, I'm gonna sort those, those out now. Will we be in Kong 109? It looks like a could be cut, doesn't it? I reckon we might end up in King 110. We're, we're about 10 minutes later than we normally are. Yeah. Also, not 109, 110. No, I reckon 110 or 111, I reckon. Ooh. We'll see. You have to feel like we're a little bit later. We are a little bit later this morning. We had to get everything packed, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so that took a bit of extra. That took about 10, 15 minutes in. Let's just get everything yeah. sorted out and stuff. So we'll see what number we're in. Well, it was King 109 in the end, our favourite row. We're just uh, making a bit of a rush to uh, get ourselves in now. Since we're up early, got to get in there. Uh, we've got the music going to get us in the mood as we head on in. That was uh, nice and quick through security. So we've got about 15 minutes until the uh, gates open. Just want to make sure we're nice and there at the front. Since we got up early, we've got to be there ready for uh, our mini marathon across to Hagrid's. I think this could be the last early entry of our trip, so I want to make sure we try and get Hagrid's done. It's a little bit overcast today as well, we don't mind that. We had a lot of sun yesterday in the water park, so I don't mind it being a little bit overcast. Nice and cool this morning. But yeah, it is Saturday, so it will end up being quite busy, the park, later on, but the roads coming were nice and quiet, so that's uh, made up for it quite nicely. Is that nice and quiet down the I-4? So it looks like unfortunately today there's no annual pass entry. So we're going to be in the normal line today. Normally they have the annual pass entrance just there. Looks like it's not on today, which is a shame. Laura will double check. I'll get ourselves in this line instead. Yeah, it looks like there's no annual pass entry today. Well, that just shows how important it is to get here nice and early. We're nearly there, Laura. We're nearly ready for our marathon. I don't know why they haven't done that today, but we're nearly there, nearly good to go. We could be all the way back there, so we're doing all right. Right, we're in, and the marathon begins, Laura. 
power wall. A bit more of a power walk job today, I think. So it shouldn't be too bad. We'll let you know. We've just got in at one minute past eight, so we'll let you know what time we uh, get Hagrid's done by. Excited for this. One of my favourite rides. It's right up there. I think it's well, especially because you can't do it that often. Yeah. And it's really hard to do. It makes it even more special, I think, it's in a way. Never wears off, does it? No. Real novelty. I always have to go on the bike though, don't I? I'm too small to go on the little side car, no, really. Not, you just don't want to I, don't, I feel really uncomfortable in it. It really hurts my knees. Yeah, it's not great, is it? It is just it is like the way quite small for. Like yeah, it's a shame they're not double bikes, but yeah, I struggle with uh, getting in the little side car. Ah, so it's straight in the queue today, no extended queue line. That's nice, starts just here. Normally start all the way back there, start working our way round. We're gonna shove our stuff in the locker and there, uh, go and see Hagrid. Well, I'm excited. So it is delayed as we enter the queue. They don't know how long it's gonna be, but I can hear it running around the track, so I don't think delay is gonna be too long. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Hopefully it opens in the next half an hour or so. Just gotta quickly pop that in the locker, haven't we, Laura? Well, unfortunately, it's still down. It's starting to rain a little bit, and uh, the queue line is getting pretty long. So we've decided to leave. We're gonna go and do Velocity Coaster instead, and we'll try and do this another morning if we can. But it's, uh, it's going round testing, but the queue line is is pretty big because it's not moving. Everyone who got in at like quarter to eight's all in there. It's you're looking about an hour or so from where we were. So we've uh, decided to leave. We're gonna walk out with a single rider line. And then we're going to try and do Velocity Coaster instead, I think. feel like I'm back in the UK now. Got a little bit of drizzly rain. So I don't normally get this in the morning, do we? No, First no, thing. it's nice though. It's such a difference, Yeah, it's quite fresh. Adds to the uh, sort of atmosphere yeah, of... Yeah, it'll go up later as well. Yeah, you can see the blue sky there. Yeah. So we'll head round to um, Velocity Coaster instead. Otherwise, all of our early entry morning was going to be gone by the time we'd done uh, Hagrid's. Then we might pop over to uh, Universal, maybe. Oh, yeah, we like might pop into Universal Studios for a little bit. I think that's where we'll do our live stream from. Hopefully, this shower hasn't uh, delayed Velocity Coaster as well. Yeah, not often you get a little bit of a rain shower in the mornings. No, we normally get a big storm. We have to do one sleep don't we? Yeah. Now, if this if this is down, then that was our sign that we should have had a lie in instead. It's, it's the way it is sometimes. It's so good to be in and in the atmosphere. We're gonna, yeah, up and out. We'd have only lounged around, so. Yeah, wasting the ball. Exactly. That uh, says 15 minute wait, so we should be fine. More tea. Oh, it's getting heavier that rain, no. Here to help keep you and your belongings safe during your Raptor run today. Well, this was another one. I think it just wasn't meant to be. We got to the front of the line. It was lashing down. And then there uh, the ride went down as well. So, we, uh, there you go. Due to inclement weather in the immediate area, the Lhasa Coaster has ceased operation. So it's turning into one of those mornings, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So we tried two rides, failed two rides. I think we just need, should just have a coffee. I think, I think it's a gang day today. Gang. We should, should have done Universal, which are all indoor rides. Ah, well, it's uh, adds to the fun, I suppose. But it's still lashing down. Well, we've been stuck here now for about half an hour. Not quite our morning, was it? No. Wasn't meant to be. We can't get to a Starbucks. We can't get anywhere in this. Uh, all the normal rides are now fully open, but we can't even get around there. Can't get around to Spider-Man. Uh, you've got the Hogwarts Express is an indoor one. Uh, Harry Potter Forbidden Journey that we haven't done this trip yet. Oh, yeah. Love to do that. But yeah, it's getting there. We'd be absolutely soaked by the time we got there, you see. No, it's uh, yeah, it's staying around, it's not going anywhere, but it is uh, very, very heavy. So, unfortunately, we can't quite dance anywhere, but we'll hang on. We're in a bit of shelter. I'm just seeing when it's going to go off. 
Uh, Laura's very accurate weather app because you can trust these 100%, can't you? <laughs> Apparently, it's going to go on till about. 11 o'clock in the morning. Nice. Stuck it. Stay here for the next two hours then. Yeah. So we've come inside the Discovery Centre now for a little bit of a wander in the uh, in the shelter. However, it's very cold in here. Uh, but yeah, you've got a few different uh, bits of stuff to have a look at. Upstairs as well. Take a little bit of a wander. But it doesn't look like the rain's going anywhere soon. It looks like it's going to be uh, like this for a couple of hours, I think. Oh, what's this? A little bit of a game you can play. Oh, so there's different little interactive things to keep us entertained while we're uh, waiting for the rain to go off. So, Laura's just turned herself into a dinosaur here. <laughs> You're a carnivore, fast, small, and a, a pack hunter. <laughs> right, you've got to have your brain scan now, Laura. Here you go. <laughs> right, on to this one now. You're going to do the DNA scan. <laughs> so you were just over you now coming up on the screen. We already know you're a dinosaur, Laura. Accepting DNA fusion. It's quite good though, isn't it? Quite the kids, yeah. Here you are, Laura. That's you. Looking good. <laughs> there you are, Laura. Looking good. <laughs> That's funny, that. That's funny. <laughs> Laura, you're on all the screens. <laughs> Okay, well, we used our annual passes and got a little bit of discount on some ponchos. That had to be done because it's not clearing up anytime soon. So we're going for it. Where are we off to first, Laura? Don't just walk out. Where are we going? Are we going to another ride or are you go? Going... If you want to, yeah. Well, do you want to go and get a coffee or what do you want to do? Whatever. Right, let's go and try and do Forbidden Journey, Harry Potter. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. What's the wait time? It'll be low, won't it? There's not many people coming in the park now, is there? Well, we can't even get to uh, Harry Potter because the road, the little streets flooded, our shoes will be soaked, Laura. Oh, hey. It's not happening. It's not happening today. It wasn't meant to be. Well, as the Seeker famously says on their dinosaur, abort mission, abort, abort. <laughs> so uh, we've aborted our mission. Uh, we're leaving Universal and we're going to go to Mall at Millennia instead. The rain is going nowhere. It's just rain clouds absolutely everywhere. Everywhere is soaked. So we've uh, decided to come out. So it just wasn't meant to be this morning. So we're going to have a little mooch around Mall at Millennia. Uh, have a little coffee. Do our live stream as well. We'll just have a nice little sit down live. Chat with everyone. Catch up. That's mainly what I want to do. Catch up with all the subscribers. And then I think maybe from there we might go and try and do um, go and see the antique mall oh, yeah. that I'd like the to go to. Exit is approaching. Please so uh, we'll see what we can steps. do. So, yeah, the antique mall at uh, Lakeland, Lakeland Antique Mall, as I always wanted to go to, haven't we? So 
Today could be a good day to do it. Sunday, road's a bit quieter. It's raining anyway. So we're going to switch up our day. And then uh, maybe after Lakeland, we could go to I Drive a little bit earlier, more of an afternoon I Drive, yes. rather than an evening. Yes. We'll see how we get on. We're going to check into the new villa at some point as well. Yeah, switching up the day. Unfortunately, a couple of hours gone there where we didn't get anything done, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Let's uh, stride on. And uh, we'll get ourselves to uh, Mall at Millennia, which is only a junction down from here. It's dead close, so dead easy. So we've just put the um, directions in for more than millennia and it doesn't open till 11. So we're going to find the nearest Starbucks, sit and chill, have a nice Starbucks, relax, then head off to more than millennia and do our lives somewhere as well. Yeah. And relax, yeah. So moral of the story is sleeping on a Sunday. <laughs> have a lying on a Sunday and just thinking, because drag myself out of bed. No, it is good to be out. At least we're yeah, out. Yeah, at least we're up and out, aren't but, we? We're um... seizing the day. We got unlucky with the weather and they're normally just passing showers. I think it might have just about stopped now, but it wasn't um, super pleasant in there. All the, the walkways were getting a little bit flooded yeah, and, and stuff. Yeah, and every time you go inside, it's um, cold, the air con, and you're wet, so it's not comfortable anyway. So it was good that we came out. Um, I've got me train Z to change in to change the top as well. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Just chill out, do our live, have a little look in more millennia but although there is yeah there's more clouds definitely oh, more yeah. rain on the way it's uh, yeah definitely looking pretty yeah. bleak pretty bleak everywhere you look so yeah so we did make the right decision by coming out and then um, we'll head off now to get a coffee and stuff and then do our live and then see what happens see where the day takes us here we go then so just put in the nearest starbucks from uh, where we were parked it was a mile down the road Looks like it's a brand new one as well. They've got brand new uh, apartments being built here, uh, just there. Look uh, quite nice. I think this is uh, fairly new, I think. Let's get in the dry and chill for a bit. <laughs> So I'll still stand by, if you like anything lemony, lemon cakes, lemon muffins or anything, make sure you get a lemon loaf here in America. They're totally different. Really, really nice. I love the icing on the top. Lovely. Enjoying your coffee, Laura? I am. Just lovely and hot. Yeah. yeah. Really enjoying it. Just sitting in the last place to do with Ed Sheeran. It's nice. I've got Ed Sheeran on at the moment. When you go on the Wi-Fi, it tells you what to play in, doesn't it? So it's Ed Sheeran's playlist at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Makes you a bit sleepy when you look at the weather outside as well. It just makes you want to have a little nap. So just arrived, we're on our way in now. Is this an entrance we've never been into, is it? Or is this the yeah, main entrance? We've come in because we didn't come down the I 4, we came from where we were at the Starbucks. Yes. Uh, we've come into the, entrance. I think we're at the other, the other side, basically. Oh, this will be interesting. So we normally park the other side of the building. So we'll have to remember where we are. I know. E1, we don't E1. normally park here. <coughs> So it's all free to park, it's all much of a much. I mean, and look out. at all that parking. There is a lot of parking that you can get. I'd so. like to see it, uh, what it's like in there when that car park's full. Oh my God, could you imagine it? Christmas Eve or something, I reckon. Oh yeah, definitely. Christmas Eve, Black Friday. Oh, so definitely. It is still drizzling in the, uh, it's still drizzling rain, so we still made the right decision to, to leave. To leave, yeah. It's, it's still not, not gone away. I know. But now we're going inside and we'll enjoy a nice little walk around in the live. So we know to come out by the Tesla. Yeah. Oh, look what I've just found a Johnny Rockets. Now these do amazing milkshakes. So I'm just going to go in and just get a chocolate milkshake to go and enjoy it because they are pretty amazing. And now people will remember Johnny Rockets from the cruise. So they had it on the cruise. That's where I tried them. So I'm going to definitely get one. The food is nice and neat as well. So I'm going to get a nice chocolate milkshake just to go and then enjoy the live. Okay, everyone. So we've just done our little live stream, which was nice to have a chat with everyone in the uh, comments. And now we are just at the swatch shop, just in the line here to get some, get one or two moon swatches. Uh, I believe they've got quite a few in. So we're going to try and get one. Laura's dad's after one as well. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. I don't know if there's a limit on how many you can get because I'd love to get a couple of different colours. 
Uh, I do wear them. I'm not reselling them or anything like that. And I've refused to pay the resale prices on these moon swatches. If you've seen the, the hype over them. I like them, but I won't pay over retail. So we'll see how we get on. We're just in the queue. Let's see what they've got available. Okay, so success. Laura got one that her dad really wanted. And then I've got my Mercury made up with that. I like it. Yeah, that's like it nice a lot. On you, yeah. So now you've got two. So it's one per person that you're allowed to get. So that was us. Two watches. They came to $280 was the price. Yeah. But that's proper price, not resale value. And you wear, nice. you wear your red on all the time. Oh yeah, I've been wearing the white one this trip. I brought it with me, so. Yeah, I was so. straight on my wrist, straight wearing it. I'm not reselling them or anything. I hate all that. So yeah, it's just for me. Made up with that. Turned a, uh, a bad morning to a better one. Yes, <laughs> it wasn't a bad morning, just uh, the weather let us down. We'll have a quick little boot around then, see what's going on. Lululemon there. And Under Armour. You guys have said Lululemon is expensive in this country. Yeah, a lot of you gave us feedback and said that uh, Lululemon at home was a little bit cheaper than here. So, I don't call it Lululemon. Chaos in the Apple store for the new iPhone, even though it overheats. Um, and then, uh, a little look in Under Armour. Let's have a quick look in here. So, we're going to pop into Garage here. Laura wants to have a little look in here. What's caught your eye in here, Laura? Or have you heard about the shop somewhere? Or... Have a little moochie. What are you thinking then, Laura? What's the stuff like in here? It's all women's clothes, so I've got, I've got all of a sudden got the urge to work. I've all of a sudden start thinking about work, yeah. Very what? Very young, London style, yeah. Right. So nothing special going on in garage. Let's have a quick look in JD Sports, simply because I want to do a bit of a price comparison compared to the sort of prices at home. What? How does this JD compare? That's going to be interesting. See if it's a lot more expensive or cheaper. Let's have a little look, see, see if we can do a few little price comparisons. JD tracksuits everywhere, uh, Nike tracksuits, everywhere's got these. Let's see how much this jacket is. So this jacket here is $145 plus tax. I'm sure that would be uh, less in the UK. And the pants are $125 for some Nike tracksuit pants. Wow, wow, let's compare some trainers, I think. So here we go, here's a good comparison to do, the On Cloud Monsters, this is what I've been wearing, I bought a new pair for this trip, couldn't get that colour though to be fair, I do like the blue, these are fantastic for the parks, these are what I've been wearing all trip, wore them for the last trip as well, now these are $170, I paid £150, so it would be about the same, however, there is some stores selling these for £110 in the UK now on sale, because they're bringing out some new ones, so they're, they are a bit discounted. Uh, how much are your, these are the ones that Laura is currently wearing, I wear these for work, these are $140, you can get them now in the UK for about £90 on sale, so some of the on clouds have gone into a sale, but can't get the blue, they're nice them, those blue are lovely, I tried to get them for this trip, but I ended up with the uh, greyish ones instead, uh, let's have a quick look, New Balance, here's another good one to compare isn't it, New Balance trainers, $90 for them, if anyone knows how much they are in the UK. Uh, let's go for another pair somewhere. Let's pick another different set that we can have a quick comparison with. So let's have a look at some Nikes then. Some Air Max Nikes, $110, $135. Just your standard Nike Air Force, white ones, $115. So I think, let me know. I'm thinking it's a little bit more pricey in here, just for info, but they have got loads of on clouds there that you can't get in the UK. Yeah, so loads really of colours that I couldn't yeah. get. I've just seen them all. I'm like, oh, I wanted that colour, I wanted that colour. And they couldn't get them in the UK, they were sold out. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Well, we can't come to Florida Mall without having a look in Bath and Body Works and White Barn. Love these smells. We've got no suitcase, so we can't take anything. But I do love having a little go. I've got loads of the little hand sanitizers and the Hannah Tan sanitizer sprays in work as well. I really do like to have a little smell around. Which one have you got here, Laura? Fresh fall morning. Fresh fall morning, that does. Oh, yeah, it's not, oh that's nice. That's the yeah. same, um, you know what that is? What? That's the, the woods section of Avatar. Is you know, it? when you go in the woods in the yeah. foresty bit? Yeah, Isn't that it? Is. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That, so, that is the uh, fresh fall morning. That's like very that. much when you go in the little foresty bit in um, Avatar, Flight of Passage, that. 
So this is one of my favorite ones in work that I use all the time, the Ocean. Love that in the spray bottle as well. They do a little spray bottle of sanitizer. You can spray on your hands. They have a full collection of Ocean. Oh, there's all kinds going on. It all smells amazing, doesn't it? Love to get some of these in the bar, some of these soaps in the bar. Be nice, wouldn't it? I know, smell amazing. So you've got a whole Halloween section here. This one's quite nice, the Midnight Blue. And Ghoul's Friends as well around there is a little bit different. Quite a cool little stand for your candle, isn't it? What have you just tried there, Laura? Midnight Spell? Yeah. Oh, you know, everlasting Magic. Nice. Yeah, the body spray. So what we tried, didn't we? The last two times we tried to buy stuff in here. We couldn't get saved and left, do you remember? Yeah, we did try. It's, uh, it's not for lack of trying. Frozen Lake is one of my favourites in here. That's very sore in an avatar, that one. I do like Frozen Lake. And I think I like the Winter Forest. Let me smell this one. I think I do like this one. Yeah, it's quite nice as well. Some lovely fragrances in here. Could smell it all day. Lovely. So this is all the ocean stuff that I like. So any men out there, and uh, there's a really nice fragrance. It's like fresh, but quite manly-ish, but it's quite neutral. This is what I like to have in work, the hands, antibacterial hand spray. Love that. They're $6.50 each, but they last ages. Really handy just for when you're in work and stuff. But yeah, the ocean stuff's really nice for men. So they do regularly have promotions on as well. $13.95 for the three-wick candles now, instead of $24.95. And uh, all body and skin care, buy three, get three for free. Or buy two, get one free. So there's loads going on, good promotions, but we've not got a suitcase and we've got loads of candles already. The only thing I'd love to get is more of that hand sanitizer spray. I really do like that stuff. Smell lasts on your hands and it just makes them feel really clean without using a gel. Yeah, I like the spray for some reason. But yeah, there you go, Bath and Body Works. Always smells amazing in there. It's a little treat for your nose, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So a little bit further look around and I think we're going to head to the car and start making a move, I think. Yeah, I'm going to Forever 21 and make Fabletics as well. Okay, Forever 21 and Fabletics, let's have a look. Okay, so we're in Fabletics now. I just thought I'd have a quick look at this little house because I liked it. Yeah, it's quite funky. The top alone is $90. $90 for a sports top. I don't I think that's it, a little it? bit much, isn't it? Just a bit, yeah, I think. A bit. Yeah, yeah, they've got men's stuff in here as well. I didn't realise yeah. they did men's stuff. I mean, it does all look very comfy. It does look good to be fair. How much are the shorts? The material's really nice on it all. Oh, it's always really hard to find the prices. So these are $70 for the shorts. I'll hang them back now. Yeah, they're quite nice. Two shops here that just remind me of friends. Bloomingdale's. My mom calls it Bloomies. And also uh, Pottery Pottery Barn. <laughs> You got it from Pottery Barn. <laughs> so yeah, there's two shops there that really remind me of Friends. One of my favourite shows. Come on, Laura, you're not allowed any Jimmy Choo's. No, and no Chanel. <laughs> and no Louis Vuitton or Dior or Gucci or Tiffany & Co. Or Prada. <laughs> we're in the expensive section here. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going to be starting to head out now, I think. <laughs> so we're just stopping at Chickpeas. I'm going to grab a little bite to eat. Maybe a chicken skewer or a sandwich or something. It looks really nice. Loads of Mediterranean stuff, you can have like wraps and things like that. Looks really good. I might get a cookie or a icy from next door as well. What are you thinking, Laura? Ooh, Chicken skewer? Plenty to look at it. Plenty to choose. Yeah, then we're gonna get off and go and do our Vineland. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, not Vineland. Um, Antique Small. I'm excited, I'm excited for that. So scratch that, unfortunately. No chicken. You get all the way to the front, no chicken. But they've got all of it, everything all over the board, just full of chicken. I think it's definitely a young day today, Laura. So I think, mm, I don't know whether anything else is going to take me fancy. We'll have a quick look, but I'm not sure whether anything else is going to... I was really fancying that, just something nice and easy and just chicken and rice, but... Let's see what firehouse subs are like. If not, it's not a panic. Just really handy to grab something now. You see how busy it's gone now in the mall. Tell the weather's not great outside. Yeah. Sunday lunch time, busy, busy. Fortuna Bakery is where we are now, and I'm going to be picking up one of these cakes. I don't know what to go for. The chocolate one looks good. 
that Oreo cheesecake looks amazing. So it might have to be that one. But they've also got tiramisu down there as well. Loads of amazing cakes. Proper Bruce Bob Trotter cake, that one. I could eat that whole tiramisu there. That looks really good though, doesn't it? That cheesecake. That's what you're eyeing up, so that's yeah, what I think that's what I'm gonna go for. These all look amazing. That mocha cake looks amazing. Tiramisu. Fantasia. Black Forest. Ooh, there's a uh, gluten-free one there, Laura. Almond caramel. It does look nice, that. Do you want to try one of them? That looks like, it looks like Dulce de Leche on the top there, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good in here. Now I'm confused though, Laura, because the Fantasia chocolate cake looks like just like a simple moussey cake. <laughs> and so does that one as well, the mocha. That's got coffee though. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It's gonna be a tough decision. I the, Oreo. the Oreo cheesecake. Yeah. That looks amazing. That looks really decadent. Tell me what it tastes like. Nice. Nice. Intense. Yeah, it looks quite full on, really decadent, yeah. Chocolate on the top is gorgeous. Looks like proper fudgy, fudgy chocolate. It's very thick. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, you can see, yeah. What have you gone for, Laura? Well, I've gone for a chicken empanada, empanada, cheese bread, which I absolutely love, and an almond cake. So I'm going to give these a try first. I've never had an empanada before in my life, so that'll be interesting. I have had cheese bread, and I do like it, Brazilian cheese bread. So I'm going to try those, see what they like. So chicken empanada, you're not really fussed on it, are you, Laura? Doesn't, yeah, looks a little bit weird. But the cheese bread, you've demolished that. You like oh. the cheese bread. I absolutely love the cheese bread. It's amazing. My cheesecake was nice. One of those ones that looks way nicer than it's going to be. It was nice, but it didn't blow me away like it looked. I probably should have gone for one of those light fluffy chocolate cakes instead. Yeah. It was quite heavy, but no, it was nice. It was nice. lovely. It just it looked like it was going to be like one of those, oh my word, I've got to come back and have another one, but it wasn't quite. Yours, Laura, again, looks amazing, light and fluffy. Probably the route I should have gone down. Yeah. Can't beat a light and fluffy yeah. cake. Give that a go. Looks like it's got like Dulce de Leche on the top. Cream. Good yeah. Like nice. Light and fluffy. Creamy. Yeah, really light and really creamy, yeah. Nice. Well, it's still absolutely lashing down out here. It's a really rainy day. It's not had a rainy day like this for oh my God, a long time. for many trips. Yeah. Not that it's bothering us because we're in the malls and stuff, but yeah, I can't believe it's still still awful weather. It's not going away at all today. No, not at all. Alright, so we're gonna get everything there, just put some stuff on charge with our battery packs. Always handy to have them. Yeah. Make sure you bring some battery packs with you. Always handy to have on the go. And we're gonna go straight to the uh Lakeland outlet mall outlet not can never get this right, can I? Yeah. The Lakeland Antique Mall is where there we're heading go. to. So if you haven't seen that mall before, uh, it's always attracted us. It looks fantastic because it's all uh, old like Disney memorabilia stuff from the parks, old classic Disney stuff, universal yeah, stuff. The hotels, like the hotel chairs and tables and stuff Your like that. Your furniture out of rooms, old ride things, all kinds. Yeah. So we're just going to have a little mooch. We're not going to buy anything really, I don't think, unless it was very small. We're just going to have a little mooch, aren't we? Yeah, you never know what you can find. I think I've always found the videos interesting. Uh, Paige and Mr. Mara does a lot of them and stuff, so we'll, and we're always watching his. And yeah. It'd be nice to actually see some of it in person, see what it's like. It's a nice little drive down there. Toot along. Weather's uh, not the best anyway, so... So it'd be nice just to listen to some music yeah, and just perfect. chill. Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, on uh, a little bit later on, we'll either do International Drive with that yeah. honky-tonk bar or we do a, a Disney park, we'll see it's probably going to be the Honky Tonk Bar, I think. I think, because it'll be indoors, I think it's still going to be Unless raining later. Unless it really brightens up later and we takes takes our fancy. Yeah. Okay, so here we are, Antique Mall. Dead easy to find, just follow the uh, Google Maps. So it's basically just right. straight yeah, down the I-4, the come off at the, one of the Lakeland junctions, junction 32, and it's pretty much here. It's dead easy to find, dead yeah, easy to get easy. to. And it took about 50 minutes with all the traffic. 
So yeah, job done. Here we are, Antique Mall. Have a little mooch around. There's quite a lot of restaurants around here as well. There's a Target, IHOP. So you could make a little bit of a thing of it. And there's a Chuck E. Cheese. I've never seen a Chuck E. Cheese in real life. Have really? you ever heard of it? Yeah. There you go, it's Chuck E. Cheese here as well, right next to it. So yeah, we'll park up and have a little moochie. So here we are, Antique Mall, looking forward to this vintage furniture, home decor and antiques. Looking forward to just having a little look around, seeing what they've got. I mean, you can see there's already a big ride uh, cart in the window. That should be interesting. You've got Chuck E. Cheese over there as well. Laura's just run to the loo. Then we're going to head in, have a little good uh, mooch around. So this is actually a Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland Starjet. It's $35,000. Wow. A little bit of a piece of history there. Just to let you know, these store hours as well, it's open 10 till 7 all week, apart from Sundays, which is 10 a.m. till 6. Walt Disney World Pass cast member costume, $395 for that. Wow. Some of the prices are going to be really fun, but then they are, you know, official official things. So, I wonder how much. Uh, Pooh Bear is, Pooh Bear is 1695 so just stepped inside, you've got a whole Disneyland Space Mountain ride there, wow. And uh, we've got different pins here as well, $3, $4, all kinds of brand new pins you can try. Mm, little pin sets as well. Yeah, if you're into your pin trading and all your Disney pins, these are all genuine as well. Nice. So there is a lot to get through, we're just going to have to sort of pick up on some highlights because there is a lot in here. There is a lot going on in different sections. Definitely want to see all the Disney stuff, all the classic Disney stuff going on. There's a classic uh, vintage doll, two hundred dollars. Trader yeah. Sam's. Alistair Katz, Marie. That's so old. Yeah, seventy dollars for that. Oh, this is Quite cool. History, yeah. This is really buying. cool. Nice, proper antique stuff. Look at that, Cinderella, little Polly Pocket Cinderella. Little spe special Disney magic band there, $50 for the cruise line. Ah, oh, this is going to be good fun. Let's uh, keep mooching. So you've got a whole record section as well with all your different vinyls, Beatles, all kinds going on there. Seems to just be, seems to be Disney stuff dotted everywhere. Look at these. How much are they? Wow. $4,000 each. Wow. Get all three of them. For uh, 12 grand. Right, this, these are all the aisles. We're going to go down aisle H then. Let's see what we've got going on. So you've got an old classic sealed monorail play set. $100 for that one. That's uh, Disneyland and Disney World. That's the old version of what they're still selling now at the moment. This is old as well, isn't it? I'm loving this. Even just looking around and not particularly looking to buy anything. It's just great for a little the old mooch around, yeah. Clippers. Got old watches here as well. There's an old Omega there. I like the way the prices are on everything as well already. So you can, really you can see all oh, Pokemon cards as well. Everyone loves a good Pokemon card. I oh, could be in here all day long. You could certainly decorate your home with some stuff. It might cost you, but there's uh, a lot going on. All baseball cards and stuff now. We'll like pick you back up when we see something of particular interest. I mean, that's quite cool to go in your garage or something, isn't it? That oh those traffic God. lights, pretty cool, isn't it? It's just something funky to have in like your garage or your games room or something. Uh, 1500, it's pretty price. cool though, isn't it? That's a cool thing to have. Let's keep mooching on through. It's just all kinds, you don't even know where to look. You spend hours in here, hours. Well, there's a whole Coke section here, and I do like my, my old classic Coke signs and stuff. I have said that before, haven't I? Yeah. There is all kinds in here. I've already been here for about 20 minutes. All these different bottles, different glasses. What are those ones, Laura? Are they like Disney Cruise Line stuff? These are like, yeah, 50s on the base. Yeah. got little Coke bottles in them. Even these to display them in, the old little... Classic tin things. These are amazing. Some of it is like newer stuff, but most of it is all proper classic. A NASCAR, a NASCAR helmet there. I know, they're good, aren't they? Good to have them on display in the bar somewhere. 
probably find all kinds to put in the bar if you hunted round. Some of it is like, you know, your standard sort of antique stuff, but all the Disney stuff and that is what we're into, all of this park stuff and that. Pretty cool to see. So we're at the back of the store now, and this is where some of the stuff lore is from your Disney resorts. So some of these big Disney cabinets. They got Horror, Horror Nights prop there from, we did that, um, that was in a, one of the, I think it might be in the tribute store maybe. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then all behind us is all loads of all-star resort stuff. All-star resort pictures, loads of them. And they are only $20. But I mean, they are a little bit, uh, they've not taken much care where they've taken them out. Then loads of different furniture, mirrors, and there's a lot, isn't there? It's like the Horror Nights game thing. That's oh, pretty yeah, cool, that. That's from the 2019 scares. I've got a picture of that, I'm sure, I'm sure on my there. Instagram. Can you see what the price is? Can't even get back there, can you? I think you get that in the suitcase. Yeah. Pretty cool, though, isn't it? To have that in a games room. Pretty cool prop. And then some other stuff again. I think that's from Horror Nights, that one. It's just cool to see, I don't know, I just find it interesting. It's not going to be for everyone. Some people say this was a little bit... I just find it interesting, there's more Horror Nights stuff as well. Back there, Horror Nights 30 sign. Never go alone. And then just at the back there, you can see that's um, from the Shrek ride. Yeah, it is. With the Lord Farquhar symbol on the top. Yeah, it's quite a lot of props. Shame you can't quite see them all close up though. It's a cool uh, little coke fridge. See, so, yeah, a lot of it you can't quite see close up. Headless Horseman. Uh, it's not for sale at this time, so some of them are sort of on display. And then they choose to when to sell them. Interesting, so I think maybe a lot of that isn't for sale at the moment. Great little section for your bar stuff now, or your little man cave, different Newcastle brown ale, 7-Up, Corona, Bud. Cause light, all these cool little signs for your uh, your little man cave bar. That's quite good. Have you seen this? Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's really cool. Some of this. I mean, if, imagine if we had this in Tenerife Floor, oh we'd probably have that somewhere, wouldn't we? Yeah. That big display. I'd have that in the bar somewhere. Pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of like newish stuff mixed in. You do have to sort of hunt around to find the the classic stuff mixed in with the the new newer stuff. Yeah, I like that. I'd have that. Some of the old badges here. Some yeah. of them are quite new, though. Some of them aren't. Um, yeah, you know, so you these can get are... those first visit ones. That, yeah. They're selling them for four dollars. You can get them in the park. The quality of them is over near the quality of them. Look at that. So it's like a, new. an old one. So that's yeah. that's new because I got right. that the first time I came, and that's old. Yeah, some of them are older ones. But yeah. then look at the quality. Different, yeah. So is it, I don't know, some of it seems to be like, like that's new. They sell that in the, I'm sure they sell that in the parks. They so do. is that cheaper here or more expensive? Same know. with the little tram, they sell that in the parks. Sell this in the park, I think this is cheaper, $20. Yeah, you have to let me know. $58 for the tram seems a lot. But I could be wrong. We'll have to double check next time we're in Disney Springs. Jay, just have to look in. You've got a lot of the classic stuff mixed in. You can get, that's what the ice cream comes in. Yeah. I mean, twenty-five dollars for that. That's what do you get it's the ice cream in? The ice cream in, yeah. Yeah, some of it I find a bit overpriced, in my opinion. Some of it, but then you have got a lot of real good classic stuff mixed in. I'm gonna keep looking. We've only covered a couple of aisles here. We've got a lot to go. Little section here where you could decorate, you know, like your Everest Q line and stuff, or oh, all car parts, good. number plates. You've got like Denmark ones and stuff there. All little bits of car parts. Loads for like decorating and theming things. That's uh, pretty cool. Especially garages, you know, like your man caves yeah. and stuff. You come and come and do all that really easy. Some nice stuff for like little man cave bars as well. You got the little light up bottles you've got there. They have to do them a lot in Tenerife. You just never know what's coming next. Now you've got all your diamond art now. We've got some of these amazing ones at home that uh, a lovely subscriber made for us. Oh, God, yeah. I think ours are better than theirs. They look... Uh, oh, no, ours are amazing, yeah. So you've got diamond art that you can buy. Creepy clown. Anyone want to buy him? The McDonald's clown. Available. You can post it to you if you want. Have it on the end of the bed. 
<laughs> now we're in a very good section Halloween Horror Night section so I'm sure we've seen him before oh this could be a section where Andrew could, might actually buy something maybe he's got to jump out at me though yeah it's got to be worth it remember, but yeah some nice stuff this from last oh, year, yeah. five, 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 five for that. It is quite nice though, it's nice that display. You could have yeah. to put somewhere. Yeah, nice some really that. good stuff. Oh, the mugs are good. Years, yeah. How oh, much are yeah. these now? I don't know how much they were at the time, they're $20 each. Yeah. I think they're more expensive here than they were at the time. I think they're only like $15. Oh, a bit more comfortable now. Yeah. All the little bits behind you. Oh. That, 2019. that was a great year. That, that was a really good year, that... Um, yeah, Brilliant that was a year. really was good year. Killer, Killer clowns. clowns, Stranger Things, um, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, and that's forty dollars. That one. Oh, that's so expensive, isn't it? A oh, just look at these so ones. It's oh, a poster, that in the like protective. So, ah, yeah, there you, go. you you had Jack the Clown, and I had um, Chance. Chance. Jack so you've Sweet seen those? Was, that was an. That was. Yeah. He was a, how scary it used to I be. I know. The, the character they pick used to be dead scary. Halloween Horror Nights throwbacks. Now this is uh, not, not that bad. It's two posters. 75? Yeah. Yeah, look at the Look, look at the how scary that. that is. Used to be pretty scary That's and pretty intense. scary, yeah. But the finger is the number one and stuff. Yeah. And you can see how it changed, look. And then it went, it watered yeah. down by that point, but it was still really good at that the point. The advert for this year as well, it was on TV. You can probably find it on YouTube. The yeah. The 16 advert was, um... Was yeah. The TV advert used to be dead scary. They need to bring it back to the, to the former glory, I think. Back to more... Back to what should scary. be intense, scary, like, shocking, yeah. Definitely. Quite a lot of stuff going on. Like yeah, this is really good. Some nice stuff. What are these? Eggs. Egg props. So. Mm. That's a nice one. That's Stranger a really things. good one. That's from the very first house in yeah. 2018. Yeah. That's when they did the very original. $69. Oh my that god, that's a lot of money. Oh, and here's Baby Boo. Now everyone crazy for this. Thirty dollars piece of plastic. Classic stuff now, though. I know. So you're some really nice stuff. We could spend ages on here, couldn't we? Oh yeah, I'm all the, all the oh t-shirts and that, yeah. Well, this has been my favourite aisle so far. Definitely. Classic Horror Nights t-shirt. You got the Velocity Coaster up there as well. I do like that. Some lovely posters and stuff. Real classic stuff. That's. Oh, Quite nice. collectible now. We've got even more back here, more Horror Night oh, stuff. Big, big, oh, yeah, wow. Oh, my God, it's wow, I don't know where they were, but oh, look at that one at the Storyteller. Are they the ones went that went through her house. I don't think so, no, because it would have had the name on. Yeah. I don't think they're the ones that are above the sign. I know, I know what you mean now. You did, didn't you? Yeah, it was one of the first houses I did when I was a kid. You've got the uh, Chainsaw Massacre one That's here. Horrible. You see created that, for the 2021 event. That's horrible, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Scare Actor Dining from 2019. Some of the other props. Is that mm -hmm. probably from Graveyard Games? Is that one, maybe? That could very well be from Graveyard Games. It is good, though, isn't it? I love seeing all this stuff. Recognise this, Laura? That is definitely from This here. is from oh, Shrek. Shrek. It's yeah. one of the things that was hanging off the side of the building. Yeah. I love in this section. This is what we came for. This proper look at that. There's the mirror from Shrek, Laura. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow. Don't even think that one's for sale yet. And here's the other props from that uh, room as well. You know, they had them in that first room. Yeah. And those little squares would be the screens. So you'd have the characters oh god, in there. Yeah. Do you remember? The characters would be in them in that first room. That room there, you can see it in the picture. Ah, uh, this is for sale, 3500 for that one. This really good prop as well that was hung up in the uh, in that first room. This one is 8500 for that one. But yeah, those boxes, they were a particular a main feature of the ride. They were... How much are they? And they are... Looks like 19000 I think this says. Pretty sure that says nineteen. 
pretty sure there's quite a lot of nines up there. Yeah, it's pretty cool, that is. Loads of it, all from Shrek. Even the big Shrek down there, how much is the big Shrek? The big Shrek is 2,000 for him down there. That again, piece of history though, isn't it? Love the big universal sign at the back though, that big poster with Stranger Things. Love that. That's all very interesting, isn't it? You can get smaller things here, 250 for that one. But you've got to get the big Shrek, wouldn't you? <laughs> Above your bed or something. It'd be really good in one of the villas, like at the back yeah, of the bed. Exactly. Really cool, that. Got some Mickey Mouse gloves here from the dressing room. Wow. 4,995. You've got Pluto's collar. 4,995 as well. Oh, even more of the big signs and props and stuff that we like to see. Here's some more of the all-star stuff, less damaged, $50 for them. They're a little bit more uh, in better condition than what we saw earlier. Look at those old Coke cans, Laura. Oh, there's disgusting, aren't they? amazing. Don't know how much they are. Classic lunchbox. Yeah, there's loads of um, all-star and resort stuff, isn't there? Here's a fun classic little piece. Pleasure like Pleasure Island. Was that in downtown That was what Disney? used to be, yeah, in downtown Disney, what is now Disney Springs. Oh wow. That's an interesting little piece. Oh, there's just loads to look at and you've been here all day. We've definitely hit a good section here with just loads of park stuff, all the old park <laughs> hats and little Disney sign here. $75. Love it just fun looking around all of this the things you could do to theme a home and a rental villa and stuff in here is amazing so some of these more expensive figurines and models are locked away just because they are a lot more expensive 1200 for that one obviously they're delicate as well so it's a lot of those locked away but the staff here will help you if you want to get anything in particular some of the different merch here how much is that 165, wow. Some of the prices of the stuff. You wish you'd bought it originally back in the day. It's worth a fortune. Some vintage uh, ornaments here, Christmas decorations. 1983, that's older than me. Wow, 995 as well, it's not too bad of a price. Some of that, 1984, 70. If you could find your birth year that's or something, would be really cool, now. wouldn't I'm it? Trying to find 1988. So this is a really cool piece of Horror Nights memorabilia here. Not afraid of the dark, you don't know Jack. This must be one of the original years. $230 it is from the first appearance of Jack the Clown there. Wow. And it used to be $26.95 to get in, Laura. How nice would that be? Oh my God, we have it now. $26.95, wow. They even sell some of the Disney name tags. It'd be good if you could get your name, wouldn't it? Yeah, they sell the name tags, like $45 for a newer one. Some of the older ones, like $30. Yeah, and even the buttons for your blazer and stuff like that in there. It's a pretty cool display for a bar. All the different Pepsi bottles through the years, $350 for that one. But I think we're going to start heading out. I think we've, uh, we've walked around a lot of it. But you do have to sort of just mooch around and see what sort of takes your fancy. It's all mixed in. So there's a lot of Disney stuff in every aisle. A lot of stuff's all just mixed around. The bigger props are all at the back of the store. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll head off now, Laura. I think we've seen what we need to see, yeah, I think. Yeah, really interesting. really enjoyed yeah. it. It's been good. Something a little bit different, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that was the Lakeland um, Antique Mall. Keep still keep trying to get it wrong. I uh, thought it was very good, very interesting for a little mooch around, especially on a day like today. It's still raining outside, so it was about a 40 minute drive down here from the Disney World area. Nice and straight down the I-4, probably would have been a bit quicker if there wasn't any traffic. Um, a lot of the bigger props are very interesting to see, obviously you're not going to get any of that home. I would also just be aware though, some of the stuff in there is a little bit overpriced or not really an antique. Don't just presume that everything in there is an amazing antique that's going to be worth a fortune, etc. There's a few like... For example, golf head covers in there that you probably wouldn't even get like 20, 20p, 50p for on eBay. But they're in there for like, you know, five, six, seven dollars. So some of it isn't really antiques. Just bear that in mind that anything you get in there is not guaranteed to be, you know. Yeah, some of the more modern stuff. 
Is it any cheaper because it's on its yeah. top loads of it? They've got Something. a few mix of modern stuff in there as well. There is some really cool, unique items in there. You do have to just hunt around and dig around. You need to spend a good bit of time in there. We've been in there for about an hour, just mooching about and stuff. Loved all the Horror Nights props. They were really cool to see. You can get some really interesting things. And uh, yeah, just I'd mentioned, just don't presume that everything is a, a really cool antique in there. Some of it is newer. Some of it is just standard that you can get in the shops elsewhere. And some of it isn't really an antique, if you know what you're looking at. Uh, but yeah, it's, I would definitely still recommend coming down, having a look. It was oh, good fun. Yeah. Uh, you got, as I said, great restaurants around here as well. You can have a little mooch in. There's other little shops and stuff. But I think we're going to go and get uh, checked into our villa, aren't we? I'm excited to see what this villa's like. Make I've the drive back. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a nice little surprise for us. But yeah, Antique Mall was good. We'll definitely come back and have a mooch around again. Yeah. Loved the Horror Nights props in particular. They were my favourite. And yeah, let's, uh, let's jump back on the highway. Get ourselves back to Kissimmee. So everyone, we've just checked into an absolutely stunning villa here. We're going to give you a little glimpse, but you're going to have to wait for the main tour just to show you the sort of scale that we're on. It is just stunning. Look at the kitchen, the aspect we've got as well. We've got a lake view. The outdoor area is phenomenal. We've just been the last hour or so wandering around, haven't we? Just Yeah, even just going up those stairs, stunning. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but amazing. Like Just going up those stairs. It is just stunning in here. So Swanky Vacay did uh, give us a really nice villa to stay in for this last little section. Yeah. Can't wait to showcase it. Can't wait to film the video. We're going to do a few little TikToks and stuff as well. But it's uh, where it's never been stayed in yet. It it's is. just absolutely mind-blowing in here. So really excited to show you it. So that's what we've been doing for the last sort of hour or so. Just getting checked in and finding where it was, stuff like that. And what is our plan now then, Laura? What are you thinking? I'm going to get washed and dressed, then we're going to go off to Idra. Okay, that's the plan. It's still raining. It's been raining all day, so it was a good day to do what we did. I uh, wish we hadn't have sort of wasted the time in Island of Adventure in hindsight, but you never know that's how that's going to be the case. Uh, it would have had probably a little bit of a lion instead, but that's just how it goes. But we made the most of it anyway. We went and did the shopping. We went to the Antiques Mall, did a bit of driving round. Now we're in the villa. So it was a good day to have the weather like this, really. You'd have been a bit gutted if it was gorgeous blue skies and you've got to check in and check out and things like that. Yeah. So it was quite good it was a day like today. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be nice and sunny and get out on that pool deck. And... I can't wait to sit out and just look at that lake. I can't wait to come back tonight and sit out there as well. I could hear the crows before and everything. It's oh, lovely, really nice. Yeah. So don't forget, while you're uh, on this topic of the home, do give Swanky Vacay a follow on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, it's thanks to them that we're able to showcase some of these homes to you. We've got quite a few already on the channel now. We're gonna. This is our third one of this trip, showcasing all kinds of different decor levels, different sizes, condos, six bedroom villas, eight bedroom villas, you name it. Uh, we've done quite a lot on the channel. This is. Uh, completely different to the first two we've done on this trip. The level of detail and stuff is unbelievable. They've all been very, very nice in their own way. We're very, very thankful of that. But th this one, very different on the scale of theming. Uh, it's, whew, can't wait to show you. But yeah, do give them a uh, follow on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, they would certainly appreciate it. Look at that. The sun is finally out. Blue skies everywhere just in time for us to pop down to i drive so yeah, we're gonna, gonna pop go down, down to i drive to honky tonk bar you mentioned we might have a bit of dinner down there either in the honky tonk place yeah the honky tonk listen to some or, good music yeah or we have a bite to eat then go into the honky tonk bar for a drink then since we're both in the stranger things vibe we've said depending how we feel because we mentioned this the other night we might pop into horror nights at like 10 11 o'clock 10 10 ish and do those last couple of hours when the when the houses start to drop down yeah. a little bit wait time wise uh, it is a sunday so it's going to be busy but we're now running out of nights to go to horror nights again so yeah i'm thinking if we're down those ways and we're going to be out sort of semi late we're not going to be getting bladdered or anything we don't drink so if we're up for it depending how we feel depending how much we're enjoying the honky tonk we might pop into uh, Horror Nights for the last couple of hours yeah. or an hour or so. Yeah. Do a couple of houses as they drop right down. Be brave, yeah. Do, a couple of those, do, the, yeah. do the key ones that we really want to do again. Yeah, like Stranger Things dropped down to 45 minutes on that last yeah. little hour, didn't it? Uh, this is a little outside look of the home. We've got a full tour coming up, but yeah, this is it. 
as you can see it is big oh, it's, so uh, it's a big house big beautiful it's modern build very yeah. funky design on the outside but when you're inside oh. it doesn't feel as funky as it looks on the outside yeah it's not funky sense. inside it's beautiful inside you can see isn't the rooms it on all of them i've got that like different angles yeah the gradients level. Yeah, all of them. Um, they're all like that, and you look and you think, well, they must be dead funky inside, but the shapes of the rooms and everything are absolutely no. stunning. I know, they're perfect, aren't they? Really yeah. nice. And they're oh, all yeah. slightly different. Yeah, they've all got oh. different, different features on them. I love that brickwork look. I know. Them. So what, that slate brickwork in the yeah. middle is really nice, isn't it? Really classy. Really sexy. And on the chimney, well, the fake chimney. Yeah. Well, that'll be full tour will be coming up on the channel anyway, or if you're watching, um, since the vlogs have been out, you'll be able to find the full tour on this. I'll link it down in the description. Yeah, we're going to jump in the car, uh, which I'm still enjoying driving, by the way, the Nissan Rogue. It's not quite as economic as the RAV4. It's got no eco button on it. It is, does drink the fuel a bit quicker, but lovely, lovely drive. So let's, let's go and find how to get to iDrive from here. I don't think it's too far at all from here. So welcome back, everyone, to International Drive, Icon Park. And it's a little bit different to when we were here last time. It's no rain now. Nice set of skies as the sun starts to set. Get to see some of these little stands that are open as well. And now if you are interested in International Drive and you didn't see our full nighttime tour of iDrive, that is on the channel. It's a two hour, 40 minute long vlog. Really long one. We go along here at night. We do the Illusion Museum. Absolutely all kinds. So do check out that vlog if you haven't seen it. If you have, you'll uh, recognise a lot of what we uh, are going past at the moment. Only all of these were closed when we walked along because it was raining. Glaze nuts. These nuts. <laughs> um, and then we're going to head to, I think, the Honky Tonk Bar is literally just there behind the carousel. Yeah. So we went with the, the locals going last night. I'm going to go with the locals going tonight. Yeah, we enjoyed that uh, restaurant last night. It was good with that steak. This is a popular bar, this one. I mentioned it the other day. You have live entertainment on, singers. There you go, someone's giving us a wave in there. There you go. Loads of lovely subscribers around. If you do see us around, do always come and say hello. We got all of these little stalls. Loads of little options, isn't there? This one does uh, different frozen cocktails, daiquiris and stuff. Yeah, I'm loving the sky. The sky's gorgeous at the moment. A lot more vibrant now. It's not raining. I even got a little train that goes around. Look at that. Put me on the back. I'll be well. I'll be well away. I'll be made up. So in Brother Jimmy's Barbecue, wherever that is, kids eat free as well, under 10. Get to eat free in Brother Jimmy's. Where's Brother Jimmy's? Not sure where that one is. And get your pictures with some parrots if you want so this is it here where we're heading to proper american country music they do dancing singing here you go there's people dancing it shows you on the big screen outside what people are doing ole red it's called or ole red there you go you can hear the music and there they are dancing on the screen Shows you what's going on inside. They've got a mechanical bull every Friday night. Live dancing every day. I got the band coming back in a minute as well. Come on in, y'all. No cover charge, y'all. I like that. I like a service charge. You go. Oh, you got 80s night as well. October the 12th. We're not here for that, but that'd be good. 80s night in here. I'd love that. Oh, I really would. So yeah, we've got a little bit of entertainment going on. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get our seat. Just on our way to our table. And there you go. Get a bit of instruction, Laura. You're going to have to get on there. I want to see you getting up, getting involved. So the uh, instructor's just teaching them the dance move. You can actually see a cool tractor up on the ceiling there. This is going to be good fun. The band's on the way back in a bit as well. So you can get up and have a dance if you want to. So here is the menu. We're gonna step with right. Plenty of uh, the usual suspects on here. I might go for a burger. Chicken tenders. Salads there as well. Ooh, mason jar dessert to do a cheesecake. Banana pudding. That sounds interesting. 
Um, oh, they do mac and cheese as well. Together, well I'm loving this. Great. And then you have got the uh, drinks that's menu here. You can get a funky glass with the hats on. Okay. Buy a drink, keep right. the glass. Right. Oh, it's all pretty good. I'm loving the... Uh, Loving it in here at the okay. moment. Does that make sense? It'll all kick off in a minute. So you can see some of the foods just to buy for that table and those burgers look amazing, Laura. Oh, nachos look good, don't they? Don't know what to go for. I think I, think I will go for a burger because those burgers look really good. Okay, so we've ordered. How was your, uh, what have you gone for, Laura? Margarita, is it? Frozen margarita. Nice. It's really good. Ah, good. So the um, the woman teaching the dancing has gone off just for a little bit, and then they're going to let the band do their set, and then she'll be back once the band have done their set. So we've got a nice bit of live country music now. Just loving life. I think you're welcome to get up and dance if you want to. Oh, I love all stuff like this. I love the words to the country music. It's so simple and funky, isn't it? Might get a little drunk. That's good fun, I do like it. So they have got a whole upper level as well, so if it gets busy, you can go on the upper level, and everyone's just having a nice time. How do I teach you that? You can still talk to your partner, or listen to the music and stuff. This one, Laura. <laughs> okay, well, here's our burgers. We've gone for tater tots with them. So, that's uh, homemade tater tots. Laura's gluten free bun on the burger. Here's mine, bacon cheese burger. These tater tots look amazing. What are they like? The server recommended them, didn't he? Well, that was spot on, and those tater tots are just delicious. Really good tater tots, them. Different, yeah. yeah, very different. You cut into them, it's like having a big soft potato, but it's it's like hash brown. Yeah. So tater tots are like mini hash browns, aren't they? How's yours? Lovely, can't complain, yeah. Yeah. It's big, but yeah, bread okay? Yes, okay. It's okay, not not phenomenal, but it's gluten free bread. No. Yeah. Yeah. no, I enjoyed mine as well. I'm enjoying the entertainment though. You got the instructors having a little dance now. There you go. Mama, like a wagon wheel, is he saying? <laughs> I'm going to go going around Hover Nights with all these country songs in my head. <laughs> I do feel like I'm out in like Georgia or something like. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got Antwerp to dance. Let's see how he does. He says he's going to do badly, but you never know, he might do well. Front and left. Back and forward. Does that make sense? That's the first four ish steps. And rocking chair, back and forward. Oh, he's still, he's getting so the rocking chair is just like a oh, lean front, no. lean back. Cool. So, really good fun meal in here. I really enjoyed it. Watching people learning how to dance, the band coming on, the band come on for a bit, and then the dancer instructor comes on. Really good, different atmosphere, something a little bit different. Food was spot on service was spot on and I did think it was going to be louder than it is so it's not even it's not even on the level of if you've been to Hard Rock Cafe before it's, uh, it's not even that loud it's, it's nice pleasant 
You can still chat while you eat, but also listen to what's going on. So yeah, I've enjoyed it in here. Really enjoyed it. Do definitely check it out. And we're going to pay the bill and uh, make a move. I go down to City Walks, have a little look around City Walks before going into Horror Nights. But yeah, Ole Red, this is called, if you want to check it out. And you can just park in Icon Park for free and uh, wander in. Well, it's a bit of a contrast to where we parked this morning. We're in Jaws Road 515. Might as well be deep in the ocean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are miles away. We think we need a boat to get there. But uh, now I'm excited to head in. Looking forward to just, just going in and just, even if we don't do any houses, just go down a few scare zones. Yeah, walk around. Yeah, people watch, see people get scared in the scare zones. Watch the people get scared with the, the chainsaws and stuff. Yeah. Just going to have a little bit of mooch, but before we go into Horror Nights, we are going to show you a little bit of City Walk. A lot of you asked us to show City Walk exactly what's available, uh, what you can do down here. So that's what we're going to do first. Going to have a little wander around City Walk, see what's happening on a Sunday night. Show you the little bits and bobs, mini golf, cinema and stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll wander in. The later we go in, the better, the quieter it's going to be. So just heading in. I'm just on Facebook, just uh, killing a little bit of time. And I have seen... There's some really good, um, you know, little things going on on the, the pass holder groups and the universal groups. Uh, so always keep an eye on those groups. I do find there's a real good spirit around universal at the moment. So you can see on the group here, let me just focus on it. There's, uh, what they're doing at the moment is they keep putting little bracelets in um, Bruce's teeth near Jaws. Obviously it's guests that are doing it. They're just putting little bracelets on for people to go and find and take and little things like that that are going on. Like Laura said with that group that you're in where you people hide things. things. Yeah, yeah. You make things you hide and you make things you swap from everything. Yeah, really I've not, not seen, I don't know whether it goes on at Disney or not, but it definitely goes on at Universal. Oh, and not very much. Yeah, there's a real good spirit with it. So we'll keep an eye, see if we can find a, uh, a bracelet on Jules' uh, teeth tonight. It's always just little bits going on, little feel good things to look out for and stuff. Just makes it feel like more of a community. Yeah, especially that group as well, that annual pass holder. Yeah, in particular, I'm in the, the annual pass holder group. In case you didn't know, I am an annual pass holder. So uh, that means I can come in any time I like. I can park for free, things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, because we're annual pass holders, we are in that group and it's a really good group. I don't think you need to even need to be an annual pass holder, really, to be in it. It's just full of all useful information, little fun things like that. So yeah, definitely check out all the Facebook groups. There's loads of them. Uh, you've got Florida forums. You've got Disney Disney ones, Universal ones, all round ones, International Drive ones. So this now brings us to City Walks. We've come through security. We've gone along the little moving walkway. Love that. And you now hit uh, City Walk. So you've got Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. So that's a lovely restaurant themed on the film uh, Bubba Gump. What's it called? Um, Forest, Gump. Forest Gump, that's the one. And then just opposite that, you've got the cinema. So this is showing all the latest movies, all the latest stuff, Paw Patrol, Haunted Mansion. I believe the new, ah, there you go, the new Saw film's on as well, Laura. I was tempted to watch that, the new Saw I'm film. Saw. Watch it with you. You've watched the last few with me though, haven't you? Yeah, I'm coming too. So yeah, all the show times are on there. You can just Google it as well, Universal Cinema. And it will um, come up on Google and you can have a look at what shows are on and different show times. It's a good little thing to do on a rainy, rainy day, rainy evening like we've had today. Might be good to pop down and come to the cinema. Yeah, and then just above this, this area with the cinema, it's like a, a ring. You've got all seated up here for more restaurants. We'll quickly show you upstairs in a moment what's going on there. Yeah, there's a lot to do here, there's a lot of restaurant choices. So this City Walks is a Universal's version of Disney Springs. Yeah. Slightly smaller scale, but you've got a lot going on here. Yeah, this, it, it is a bit more for adults, isn't it? Yeah, it seems it's a bit more, you know, more bars, adult what, themed. What yeah. Disney Springs is 
missing is an adults only section, which this is what on a Friday or Saturday night. Isn't yeah, it? it's a little bit more. This reminds me in some ways a little bit of a modern day uh, downtown Disney with uh, Pleasure Island. Yeah. It still has that little bit of a Pleasure Island vibe at times. But yeah, there's all your cinema in there. You obviously can get all your snacks and stuff and your popcorn and all of that going on. Safe shop just here. Yeah, we've got to be careful with just hand luggage, but that's good, that shop, for um, shirts and shorts and stuff. We've both bought things from there. Uh, Starbucks, you've seen us drink many of those just over there. And yeah, loads of different eateries. You've got a pizza place, sushi bar and burgers. We're gonna go upstairs actually. I wanna show you a little bit of upstairs. And of course, Cinnabon. That literally just reminds me of Better Call Saul, Cinnabon. If you like Cinnabons, let me know. I'm not into cinnamon, so I'm not a big fan myself. But I know a lot of people do like them. There's a real smell of cinnamon coming out of there, which just reminds me of Christmas. We're gonna go upstairs just here. You have got a uh, guest services there as well. So you got any problems with tickets or anything, you don't wanna go all the way to the gates. You can go to the guest services just there. Next to that, you've got the Cold Stone. So that's um, ice cream, that one, isn't it? Cold Stone. I might say. Uh, you weren't blown away, way, but that was a few years ago. Maybe we should try it again. Yeah. I might try a little. I'm either going to try one of them or I might try a Horror Nights something or other. When we go in, I might try like a cake or something from Horror Nights oh, tonight. That'd be nice, yeah. As a dessert. We didn't get dessert in the uh, restaurant, did no. we? So yeah, just coming up to the second level. Well, you've got quite a bit going on. So you can just come down here and uh, just enjoy City Walk itself without going into the parks. That's all that above the cinema that we've just mentioned. So you've got a Moe's, which is a Southwestern grill. You've got Redbox and Panda Express as well. Uh, Burger King. And then the uh, Bao Bun place that Laura mentioned. However, behind us, this is a whole section of bars, restaurants, almost like nightclubs this is a bit like what city what um what pleasure island used to be like a little bit yeah, so this is the red coconut club yeah like a bit of red coconut club i did want to take a little look as well at the um the, this one the reggae bar the bob marley oh, reggae yeah. bar this looks pretty cool in here i did want to have a little look at that at one point just to see what it's like in there but yeah, it's a little bit party vibes, especially at the weekend. Hey, yeah, we're really going now, are you? Hey! <laughs> you got a karaoke bar there as well, so it's a little bit uh, more vibrant, isn't it? Okay, well, we're coming into the uh, the reggae bar. I wanted to try, there he is, Bob Marley. I do love a bit of reggae music, love Bob Marley as well, so this is going to be right on my street in here. Oh, yeah, this is right on my street. There you go. Love it. Oh yeah, this is my vibe. This is my vibe. Oh yeah. Hey, don't worry about a thing, Laura. You'll be fine in here. Well, I'm loving the vibe in here. I'm loving the music as well. Oh, it's really good. What are you going for, cocktail wise, then, Laura? Okay. I'm just loving the music. Oh, it's really good. Good vibe in here. Um, when I was growing up, my grandmother always used to tell me, she said, whatever you do, you must have an attitude for gratitude. So how are we doing all right? Yay! Thank you, I'm loving this. What have you got there, Laura, then? I've got a one love. A one love? It has got the cardi lemon, the cardi raspberry, the raspberry, a black currant liqueur, pure as salt, lemon and lime, and pineapple juice. Nice, and I've got a bottle of Bud Light. How cool is this bottle of Bud Light? How cool is that? Love that. It's really cool. Yeah, for the military, I love it though, all the blue camo, I like that. I like it as well. Nice. Right, what song's next? What are we going for? Well, that's a really cool little bar, that one. Love that. Really? Especially when the live music was on. Really good. Right, let's carry on around uh, City Walks then as best I can. There's a lot of music going on, but we'll have a little look. So we've got Fat Tuesdays there. Very popular for uh, frozen cocktails. And then Anzahitos. We've eaten here before on the vlogs. 
really nice Mexican food that one and then we have also got Universal's great movie escape so they're escape rooms based on Universal movies Especially again on a rainy day. Rainy day, good for a family. Yeah, Antojito is good for a little bit of Mexican food. You've got uh, Hall of Fame hot dogs as well. Good for hot dogs, quite expensive. But again, been there before, good for a hot dog. And Antojito has a memory opportunity band on as well. Yes, they have the little bit of live band on the stage, don't they? A couple of little different beverage stands. It's only a quick little tour, this one. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything, but gives a real good idea of what's down here on City Wall. Well, yeah, a lot of people don't realise it's here, do they? No. Uh, then, of course, you've got Margaritaville here. So you've got the restaurants, you've got the shop, you've got the cool little bar over here with the, with the plane. Jimmy Buffett's plane over there. Really cool. And then you can see a nice view right around the, uh, probably call it a lake. I think that's what yeah. we'll go for. Uh, over there you've got the Chocolate Emporium. We've never had a huge bit of luck with Chocolate Emporium. We've never... Yeah, it's never really blown us away. Then you've got the Hard Rock, which is massive. Bear in mind with the Hard Rock, they have got a concert hall attached to it. So they do have different concert events going on in there uh, regularly. You can look online, see if there's a, a concert or someone that's on that you'd like to see. But yeah, it's one of the world's biggest uh, hard rock cafes especially with that extra concert hall on it as well it's uh, really good that i'd love to see an event in there i've never really seen anyone that's grabbed my fancy to get tickets for and the ones that we like, they're always on when we're not here oh, yeah always on when we're not here yeah uh, then obviously just further around you've got the entrance to universal that's where we're heading shortly yeah. and then you've got other more restaurants and stuff we're going to show you along that way in terms of this one big fire if anyone's tried it do please let me know it always does look nice to me. It looks attractive, but I've never tried it. If anyone has, was it worth the money? Let me know. For always friendly staff around as well. Uh, plenty of security around, so it's always very safe. Although there's alcohol going on and stuff, they are very strict in here. Plenty of security, any problems, you let them know, they will definitely sort it out, but we've never seen any issues in here. No one, you know, crazy drunk or anything like that. More restaurants, the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar, Vivo's as well, Italian Kitchen. Just gives you an idea of the weekend. A little bit more cocktails and good vibes. And then you've also got the stage here with free music on as well. So Universal to do put a little bit of uh, live music on on the stage. It's good, isn't it? Good little vibe. Good song as well. It's a really good little atmosphere of a uh, Saturday, Sunday night, Friday night as well. You've got the big Universal Tribute store there. That's where you get all your merchandise. All the little merchandise stalls as well. And then there's a couple more things just to show you just here before we uh, head on into the park for Horror Nights. So just up to the right here. That's where you can access Burger King, which I mentioned earlier. We mentioned Bread Box earlier as well. That's just up that side is where you can access it as well. And then next to that, you've got Voodoo Donuts. Everyone loves these donuts. They're funky shaped, funky flavored. People go mad for them. So there's uh, Voodoo Donuts there. And next to Voodoo is there's another restaurant that's on our list to try at some point, which is the NBC Grill Brew Restaurant. Meant to be pretty nice. American food, you have all the sports on. And then you've got a little Auntie Anne's there as well. So you've got like quick things and you've got proper restaurants as well at the same time. So as you can see, a lot of people are heading out at Horror Nights. We're heading in. A lot of people are heading out. It's about quarter past 10 now. So some people have had enough. The people who've been here for Stay and Scream since, you know, five, six o'clock. A lot of people have had enough and starting to head out. We're heading in, hoping those wait times are gonna be a little bit lower. I have seen on the pass holder group a few people saying it's a bit quieter tonight. Yeah, I've seen it myself. Which is uh, good news for us. Yeah. So, yeah, here we go. Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, it's when you get to these gates and you've got the music on. You can see that fog. Just like till we turn around this corner. There it is. Look at that. The fog, the lights, the sounds. Oh, yeah. You just know once you're on the other side of that gate, 
it's a different world through there it really is just to be in the atmosphere is enough for us we'll see how we get on with houses but just walking around this atmosphere wise as i said people watching just stand and watch people get scared it's hilarious So some of the wait times, not too bad for the uh, houses, the uh, Stranger Things, the most popular is 75, which is not bad for half 10 at night, it's 35 minutes for uh, blood offerings, so they're not too bad, but I do think they're going to start dropping and dropping, so we're just going to wander around, see what happens, go through the scare zones, soak up this lovely atmosphere, and then uh, when those drop a little bit more, we might get in the Stranger yeah. Things line, it's the one we'd love to do, isn't it? Yeah, it won't be back for a few years either, so it'll be good to get that done. Ah, right, let's go through this scare zone. Let's watch some people get scared if we can. <laughs> let's see how we get on. Love the music in this one. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Laura's been getting pretty good in this scare zone. She really has. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one of them is going for you. Hey, you've got this must be the Stranger Things top. Oh, they. <laughs> I've had loads of them going for you. Oh, there she, she was after you. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, that scare zone tonight was on fire. All the actors right up for it, and uh, plenty of them as well. That was the best run through that scare zone we've had. Really good, that. They got me a couple of times, Laura a couple of times. They're really all on it with that scare zone tonight. I'm gonna to go through the next scare zone here and have a look at uh, Bruce in the Jaws section, see if he's got any bracelets left for Laura. Well, it does feel a little bit quieter going around tonight, but it's still soaking it all up. Just good to be in here. When you're back home, you wish you were just walking around like this. So you gotta savor every moment. Well, here's Bruce next to Shay Alcatraz. It looks like they've all gone, Laura. We weren't quick enough, but it's handy to know. Always come and check his teeth. You might see a uh, little bracelet chilling there. They've all gone for now. He might be reloaded later. Oh, that's a shame. Hey, at least you know it's here. Always keep an eye out for these little Easter eggs. <laughs> Get out of here! So we've got Andrew's bus here. This is Andrew's, no one else's. He and does. Yeah, there's you in the driver's seat as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he going to speak? No, oh. Oh, he's asleep. He's asleep. He's snoring away there. I've never been in the back of this because it's only really, really busy. So this is the first time being around the back of this. I wonder what it looks like. It's got beds. Got beds inside it. Eh? However, you can't go and have a nap. <laughs> all the luggage. You can't go and have a nap, which is a shame because it's all blocked off. But there's the stairs leading up. And I imagine there's more beds up there. So it's a really nice little bus. As I say, it's Andrew's bus, no one else's. Yeah, they've even seen the top of it there as well. Yeah, there's some really nice beds up Love there as well. Inside that you don't even realise, isn't there? All the little beds, have yeah, you seen them? At, really cool, a little toothbrush in there as well. 
Right, well, uh, Gringotts, Escape from Gringotts is only a 15 minute wait, so I might as well just pop on that. Do that, and uh, the more time we kill, the quieter those uh, houses should become. Uh, so we're coming to Harry Potter now, and you can see the Death Eaters are out. Really cool. That's awesome to see. I think there's another one over there. They're really cool, just wandering through. I think that's new for this year. Pretty sure that wasn't here last year. Do make sure you pop in and see that. I think the uh, dragon's about to blow, is he? Let's see, I think he is. Here he goes. Another awesome queue line. Nice and quiet at this time as well to get a few pictures and stuff like these are doing. Good bit of fun. The animatronics are awesome. And this is the ride that really makes my belly go, that's first drop for some reason. It just gets me every time. Great little ride on Escape from Gringotts, first drop gets me every time. Every time. And now we're back out into the atmosphere, let's see what's going on then. We're going to carry on around yes. uh, into the other little scare zones and stuff I think. Yes. And then we'll keep an eye on those, uh, keep an eye on those wait times. So I've just stopped at Lord Lad Donuts and I'm going to get a sundae with Reese's Pieces and the hot fudge for my dessert. I was going to get a donut, but I've been sucked in by the uh, someone in front of me. I got know, a uh, Sunday. It looked amazing. They've got a couple of donuts left there. And they do sell the big pink ones in here as well. So you've got your Sunday. Now, your hot fudge is on the bottom because you said it'll fall right off. But that looks pretty nice. I have snuck out a spoon. Oh, on, then. So I'm going to give it a try as well. But I want to wait till you get a bit further down so I can get some hot fudge as well. It's going to be tricky. I know, but I'll wait, I'll wait a second, but it looks amazing. It's like a McFlurry. Yeah, it's, it's a big portion though, isn't it? Massive. Yeah, we could really share it. But I'll just have a little taste. So we're fancying a little bit of the Universal Monsters Unmasked. I think it's only a 35 minute wait. That'll do us nicely on this side of the park. And then we'll let move across. So the wait time was absolutely blob on. We've been through and off and through the maze in 35 minutes. So really good going. That was a brilliant run through. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. Really good house, that Monsters Unmasked. And uh, great that the wait time was dead accurate as well. It was about right for a house. About 35 minutes. That's about the max we would wait, really. We're going to go through this little scare zone. And then we're going to make our way to Yeti, one of our favorite houses, only a 25 minute wait. Which is good, and then we'll try and do maybe Stranger Things. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. The sails in the beacon, everything were amazing. So I'm going to wait here in Central Park. Laura's going off to try and find some of these hides. There's nine hides apparently in Central Park somewhere. Laura's loving this. Like a little Easter egg hunt. Laura loves all this sort of stuff. So she's gone to try and find where these little hides are from this group that she follows. But yeah, I just love the atmosphere in here. Look at all the fog there. Really good night tonight. It's a little bit quieter for Sunday. Fantastic crowd levels, projections everywhere. So we're gonna head this way, go through that scare zone again, the 80s one, which was really good fun. And we're gonna go to Yeti. And then after Yeti, I think we'll do Stranger Things and then home, hopefully. But yeah, it's just great to be back in the fog for a little bit. Okay, well, we finally found one in Central Park here. So this is what we're talking about. These little drops here. Oh, so you've got a cool, cool. little uh, skull key ring, is it? Yes, yeah, so... Just little fun things, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so people have made these, so... If you found me, keep her or hide, but please don't be hiding in lines or stores. Post a picture if you find it on a group. Have a wonderful day there, Weddington family. There you go. So that's cute, cool isn't it? they so made that themselves. It's quite Horror Nights-ish. You're going to keep yeah. it or be hiding? I'm going to keep it, I like it. Ah, okay, so you're going to keep it. We've got to get a picture of you with it. Yeah, we are. In the fog. Well, there you go. So that's just an idea of what it's like. So you can either rehide that 
or you can sort of just keep it as a little memento. Yeah. It's good fun, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. So we'll um, do that now and we'll pop it on there. Well, everyone, you catch us probably a couple of hours later and uh, we've done Dueling Dragons yeah. and then we've just done Stranger Things again. What a house that is. I seem to get every single scare in there. Oh, it's just brilliant, brilliant house that. Way better going through it a second time as well. So we've done three houses, and what's nice is the three houses we've done, uh, they were the second time we've done them. We haven't done them before apart from the on the RIP tour, so it was nice to do the ones we've done again. So we've done them twice now. Yeah. Seeing Stranger Things again. Oh, it's very good. Exactly. Well, I mean, if we had the energy, you look at that one, 10 minutes for the exorcist. Everything all drops down. These last couple of hours are really, really, uh, really, really important to get some uh, houses done. You want to do it, Laura? You sure? Right. Here we go then. Exorcist it is. Thought that was going to be our last house, Laura. <laughs> you might as well. We're not doing it again anyway. Right. Okay. It wasn't the most exciting house, was it? It was good. It was it's a good, good house. We'll see how we go for a second time because that Stranger Things one, we got uh, quite a yeah. lot of quite a lot going on. I mean, when are we next going to get a house after 10 minutes wait? I know, it doesn't half drop down. The last couple of hours, I've just posted in all the Universal groups, uh, recommending people do the same. If you've got a frequent fear, just pop in for the last three, two or three hours. So much done. Stranger Things there, it was advertising 55 minutes. On and off in 40. Yeah. Well that was literally a straight walk through, literally five minutes less than through and, and everything in five to ten minutes max. Complete walkthrough. It was really good that. Really good. Always good the second time. See loads of details that you missed the first time. That was intense. Laura doesn't like the exorcist, but she picked it so she can't complain. No, we have to do it again. And it was just just grim. I can't even that, do the that, that, that. Exorcist. It's that face, and, and the girl's face. Oh, she is good. It stinks in there as well. Yeah. Really does stink. But I think we might be heading out now. Yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. Out. Knackered. It's at 1 a.m. You could still do another hour. Or well, you could still do like two, three hours now. Easy, easy. So just to show you the wait times 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15. 25, 15, 10, 25, 25. It really is dropping down. This last hour, you could get so many done. We're just a little bit knackered, same as everyone else. That's why everyone's leaving. Everyone's knackered, but you could get so much done in this last hour now. Well, everyone, we are now back at our gorgeous villa, and that is the night done. Fantastic little trip to Horror Nights there. Four houses, uh, ones that we'd uh, only done once as well, so good to do them again. You definitely always see things that uh, you don't always catch the first time. Enjoyed that Honky Tonk Bar as well in uh, International Drive. Let me know your thoughts on that one. If you have enjoyed the vlog, do make sure you subscribe. There's loads already on the channel, Florida vlog wise. Lots to come as well. It's all completely free to enjoy. Uh, so do check out the other vlogs on the channel. If you enjoyed this one, do give it a thumbs up and a like. Hit that little button, really does help us out. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for our next a uh, big Florida day. I'm sure it will be jam-packed again tomorrow. I think we're up and out uh, to Epcot tomorrow. Uh, so join us for that one. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on.